Today I was able to make my first $170 or $175 or something like that in my X Trader funded account. And, and I decided to actually test a brand new trading platform, at least brand new for me, in order for you to sh share with you exactly how I'm trading using this funded account as an auto trader. But the coolest thing is that I actually got a $25,000 account with two-step evaluation process in order for me to share with you my progress as to how I'm doing by passing this excellent funded account. Hey everyone, Christian here on YouTube. Welcome to a brand new video for the channel today. I'm gonna share with you exactly how I was able to make my first $175 using X Trader as my funded account. Yes, the a company that I actually mentioned on a previous video that is literally giving away trading accounts funded without any evaluation process. But hey, if you're new to my channel and you're into day trading, Forex, crypto, any type of making money online, this channel is for you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button below and activate that notifications bell icon so that you get a notification of every new video that I upload. With that being said, let's begin. All right, so the first question that you might be asking yourself is what is X Trader funding or X Trader funded account, whatever you want to call it. First of all, I do have a link in the description of this video for you to check it out. And it basically is a funded account company, just like FTMO, EA funding, my first, my Forex funds, I think of what it's called, first class funds, whatever. All of these companies that are out there. But this in particular is a funded account company that I really found super interesting and more importantly, super fair, which is quite hard to actually find when it comes to funded account companies, especially at the time of payout. But this company itself, I actually have a full video review in regards to it here in my YouTube channel. You can go ahead and check it out. But basically it's a funded account company that allows you to trade whether it's one evaluation process, two evaluation process, one evaluation with a second chance, which means that you lose an actual challenge, but they give you a second chance for you, tr for you to try it again. And they give you a full funded account without evaluation if that's what you want to. So it's actually a very cool company that, in my opinion, is, has changed the game of funded account companies, especially for those funded account companies that don't really care about their customers but this is what the company is all about. You can go ahead and check out, like I said, in the link in the description of this video, there's all the information in there. And I, I like, I recommend you to go and check out my review video where I explain all the features in detail in regards to this great company. Now, before I move forward and share with you my trades of today, I just wanna let you know that there is a 20% off if you do two things. Number one, use the link in the description of this video. And two, use the promo code BLW. If you use that promo code BLW, you'll get a 20% off on any plan that you want to and or all of them if you want to buy them all by going into X Funded Trader. So I appreciate X Funding Trader for sponsoring these 20% off discounts for all of my subscribers. So go ahead and check them out right now. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the first trades that I was able to place in today's session. And uh, these are the actual trades that I placed today. The first one, ignore it, because as you can see, it's a $1.63 trade. My bad. Look, what happened here is that I'm new to this uh, trading platform and uh, I didn't know exactly how to place my trades and stuff. So I ended up losing pretty much the trade, the entry and everything. So I just literally close it. I don't even remember exactly what I did, but ignore that trade. But the second trade that I was able to have was this one right here for NZD JPY. This is exactly the trade that I literally just placed. As a matter of fact, you're looking at five minute candlestick. So I closed this trade one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. About an hour ago, 50 minutes ago, I actually closed my trade. And take a look at the entry. It was like a perfect entry in there. It was a short. Now, this is a $25,000 account. So therefore, I'm not going to risk more than $125 per trade, which is 0.5% of my account. 
You guys already know I have that rule and I'm planning to make at least one to one or one to two or especially the best one to three risk reward ratio on every single trade. The reason why I close this trade is because I usually trade on a New York session and the movements happen to be really slow afterwards. And I was like, nah, you know what? I'm just going to stop right there. If you notice, I actually have this indicator right here. Uh, let me just remove the Tokyo session. So I have the New York session mark literally right here. This was yesterday. This was the day before, and this was today. It hasn't been finished yet, but I really didn't feel comfortable with the slow process. And plus it was reaching the RSI in order to jump the trade, even though it was a put position right here or, well, or a short position, it was crossing up on the four hour candlesticks so in the end. Bottom line, I decided to close the trade, but this is the first trade that I was able to have with my ex trading account, ex uh, trader funded account. And the commission was 24 bucks. Fine. I don't care. And oh, there was a stop loss in here and user means who actually closed the trade. It was a stop loss. It was take profit or did I close it manually? So this one, I actually closed it manually, but as you can see, $174 pretty much is not bad at all. In my opinion, actually, I would actually think that one to one with this simple strategy will actually make you break even one to two is just going to make you super profitable. And one to three is just going to make the best days of your life. But I wanted to share my results on this first trade with you. I couldn't place more trades than this because most of all, this one didn't even like touch the stop loss before. I don't know what happened there, but this one I placed in on another account that I have. This one didn't activate this one. It didn't have any trade. This one I didn't enter this one. I enter on a different pair. If I'm not mistaken, was it in this one though? No, it wasn't this one. I placed it on another uh, funded account that I have. This was beautiful. This was, uh, from yesterday. This wasn't today. And this one was a trade that I actually placed today on a different funded account that I have with FTMO, but take a look at the actual drop that happened there. I got scared and let it just be there because I wanted to actually move the take profit. I, I just decided to go fight one, but yeah, these are the trades that I placed, but only this one I placed with X funding trader today. My bad. Uh, I apologize, but today I actually made the decision to trade with one funded account at a time, which means that I'm going to trade today, for instance, with X funding tomorrow, I'm going to trade with my Matt, my regular broker account. The next day I'm going to trade probably FTMO and so on. Most likely I'm going to pay more attention to, uh, X funded trader basically because it's the one that pays the more It's a hundred percent payout. So, but yeah. That's the reason why you only see one trade, but in the end it was a winning trade. Always making money is way better than losing money. So pretty much we're good to go. Now I wanted to mention something in regards to this Goonie Trader MT our platform, which is this one right here. Look, this is the first time I'm using this trading platform. Uh, honestly, I have to get used to it. If you want to, I can make a full tutorial about it because I've actually gotten the idea as to what it is. Ch take a look. You actually choose the pair. You can just place the trade automatically. Don't recommend it at all. Make sure that you click on new order and then you can either select a market order or a pending order. I always go with pending orders, even if it's one or two pips. And then basically you can select right here, the stop loss. For instance, if I'm on Euro USD, I'm going to go on a, sh a short position. So I'd say, Hey, the stop loss is going to be at zero, uh, one point, let's say zero eight, 500, zero eight, 500. There you go. And the take profit, I'm going to put it here at zero six, 500. I'm just doing as an example, right? I'm not actually trading real right now, which probably, I don't know if I should. Nah, it's an uptrend. All right. Oh, this is the daily chart. That's the reason. Don't worry. In the end, what is it that it's super important in this specific platform? The lot size. First of all, you choose the entry point, the take profit and the stop loss. Do that. And then you move the lot size in order for you to actually see how much you're risking. That's amazing. That I prefer that way better than MT4, MT5. I hate them. But if you actually choose select, let's say 10 lots, that means that you're risking a hundred, 143% of your balance. You're not, you don't do that, right? You're not even going to be able to do it. One lot is uh, put in 14.33% in loss. That's $287. That's a lot of money. 
Is it? No, I'm sorry. That's the, uh, uh, what's it called? The uh, margin. All right. I'm sorry about that. That's the margin. Uh, this right here, as you can see, the percentage, I'm sorry. The percentage right here is 1.14% in this area right here. So that's the actual risk that you're placing. Do you want to risk 1%? No. So you're going to go with 0.5, for instance, and that's 0.57. So you're going to with 0.4. You see that 0.46 that you play around with the numbers and 0.42, 43, 45. There you go. 44. 0.44 is actually going to be 0.5% 5, 5 of my balance, which is $126 at the moment that I'm recording this video based on my balance right now. So this is exactly what you got to do. Okay. So the platform itself, it's really cool because it allows you to actually modify that risk amount in dollars and in profits in dollars too, so that you can actually have a clearer idea as to how much you're risking instead of looking at the, the lot size or whatever on MT4, MT5. That's actually really cool. And in this trade, I'm actually targeting uh, as a joke, I'm not placing this trade 2.99% in return that's $753. So you know what I mean, right? So I really found this platform really, really interesting and, uh, I'm going to keep on using it because I already got an account in it. And I, I believe we're going to have some pretty good results. I haven't really touched the indicators, the candlesticks or anything like that. All I did was actually change the time frame. That's it. Because I'm using TradingView in order to analyze my markets and stuff. So definitely a thumbs up on this trading platform. I'm not sure if, we, if you've actually seen it before. Let me know in the comment section if you're familiar with this platform or if you like it. Yes or no. Now, what strategy I use for these trades? That's actually a very important question, right? So let's take a look at what I saw when I placed my positions. Number one, I actually looked at, let me just remove this. I actually looked at the trend. One hour candlesticks, I always look at the trend. What's going to happen within today? That's all I care about. Obviously right now I removed this uh, so that you wouldn't actually see uh, all confusing, but what's important to understand is what's been happening the past few days. So we see that this day, Friday was an uptrend day. Monday was a downtrend day. This doesn't really make a difference because there is no clear trend in here. However, today we have an actual trend. So if I actually go replay and see exactly the way I saw it, right? So this is what I saw. And I'm like, okay, let's take a look. The 50 RSI is actually going to be touched eventually today, but I need some sort of support or resistance in order to identify exactly what's happening. So I'm actually going to go right here and select this little candlestick right here. Nah, that's not, that's not good. So I'm actually going to try to look for the latest support. I believe this one is the one that I actually saw a say support level. Let me confirm that in 50 minute candlesticks. Yeah, there you go. That's the one. Take a look. One, it was respected here, 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 here. This is the actual trading zone that I was able to get based on these candlesticks that you see right here. Wow, well, I was pretty exact on this trade. There you go. So this is exactly what I saw at the one hour candlesticks. And I realized, okay, if it actually goes into that direction and touches this level, Probably this is going to be the, the, the movement area of the five minute candlesticks and stuff. And so I got to put my stop loss slightly above that level. So that's exactly what I did. And I went to, what was this one? It was a seven to one risk reward ratio. Too bad I closed it, but this is exactly what I saw. Okay. So in one hour candlesticks, let's see exactly what happened there. I placed my trade like around, it was like, yeah, 9 AM in the morning or something like that. So the, the movement started, the New York session started and immediately touched the entry point. The second hour of the New York session, it literally touched the entry point. And this is exactly what started happening in 50 minutes. Now my entry and my setup was based on one hour candlesticks based on the retraction that happened to the one uh, to the 50 RSI strategy. But in 50 minutes, I always use it to monitor or use, uh, I usually use as well the five minute candlesticks because I actually saw an oversold overbought condition here and also here. So pretty much everything is matching the actual movement. Now, Maybe this was not without the maybe this was a sniper entry because if I would have put my stop loss somewhere around here, like two, three pips, I would make 
I would have made like so much money, like four to one in that simple trade. I didn't, and that's fine. Like I said, I had to go to the bank, so I didn't want to have this stress of having a trade open. But this is exactly the strategy that I used. I do have a few videos explaining this strategy in more detail. If in case you actually want to learn them, just go into my old videos on YouTube, like my recent videos, 2024, and you'll find these videos on the strategy, which is the one that you're looking at right now. Now, how can you pass the evaluation in an easy way with this or any other funded company? Number one, stick to one strategy. Number two, stick to this strategy. Look, I've actually placed a lot of trades during the last few days in regards to this specific strategy. Uh, right here, I think it was a four hour candles. There you go. Four hour candlesticks, the same. It touched the RSI and is retracting this trade I already closed it manually. Uh, this is the same single, the same simple strategy in one hour candlesticks. I'm waiting for this little resistance level that it's right here. So eventually it will touch and it will activate this trade. Uh, let me see some other trades uh, here. Euro USD, I have a lot of trades uh, placed. This one, I think I lost it. Yep. Then this one, take a look. It was an actual sniper entry. Uh, this one right here wasn't Oh, it was, it was actually activated and immediately it was a winner. Let me take a look at uh, 50 minute candlesticks instead. Yeah. in 50 minute candlesticks, it makes a lot of sense. Take a look, 2.73 risk reward ratio on this one. This one was good too. This is not something I just drew right now in order to share or whatever. No, this is based on the trades that I've actually placed in my uh, FTMO trading account. This is a $100,000 account and I'm at 7,000. I lost 1,000 yesterday, so I recovered today with, I don't know how much I did today. 575. So these are the trades that I've been placing on FTMO before I opened my account with X funding. Take a look at this one, 3.73. This one has, is a loss. Fine. We take a loss. This one got activated right there and it was a loss too. And then this one was a winner, same strategy, uh, and so on. So these are the trades that I've, I've actually taken when it comes to this specific strategy. How can you pass the evaluation easily? Just risk 0.5% of your balance on every trade and go two to one in risk reward ratio, which means that if you're going to be risking $100 per trade, you're going to be making $200 per trade. What's the win rate that I've been able to have with this simple strategy? 55 to 65% accuracy. Whoa, Chris, that's too low. Do the math. Do the math. If you win five positions of $200, that's $1,000, right? You lost other five positions of $100 as a 50% accuracy of the strategy. That brings us to a whole total of $500 in profits. So it's not bad at all, is it? So what's really important to understand is that you stick to the risk that you're putting into a trade and you don't go too hard because I'm Sometimes I actually go in too hard, but I close them manually at two to one, sometimes three to one. So my advice is put it at three to one. And if it goes at two to one, maybe you want to close it or partial close it or something, but stick to those numbers and you'll pass the evaluation process. I promise you super easy, but uh, number one rule, stick to two to three trades per day, which would be three setups max. If you're a beginner, I would go with two. So hopefully that makes sense. Hey, so hopefully you enjoyed the content of this video. If you did, go ahead and smash the like button to support this YouTube channel. More importantly, if you have any questions or comments to share, you can always use the comment uh, section below and I'll be glad to take a look at those comments as usual. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.